Hello there, Denny here from Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. It's dinner time and I'm headed to Rick's Sports Bar and Grill. It's a location I have been to only once and to be honest, my first experience wasn't fabulous. <laughs> but I am hoping that this time is different. There's a convention going on here at the hotel and so there's a lot of activity going on. But let's step on in. Here we go. So we're seated here at our table. As you can see, it's a really, I mean, soaring ceilings. <laughs> here in Rick's. You know, Rick's is kind of a funny little spot right now. It's um, sports bar slash table service restaurant. And um, right now here at Coronado Springs, if you want table service breakfast, this is your only option. El Mercado de Coronado, the, the food court, is right across the way here. Of course, they have breakfast in the morning, but if you want to be served, it's Rick's. And um, it's just good to know kind of getting into it, uh, coming here to the resort. Now, I have ordered. I am excited. I'm trying a couple of things I've never tried before in my live long days. So you and I will try them together. And um, I did want you to hear, now you're coming in through my lapel mic. It's loud. It's a sports bar, right? It's loud and it's March Madness. So, Keep that in mind. If there's a big sports event happening when you come by, it's gonna be loud. So I've ordered my favorite drink to order at the Disney restaurants, or really any restaurant, really. It's a non-alcoholic virgin mojito, or as they like to call them on Disney property, a no-hito. It is a little bit of everything, typically sometimes spray, lemonade, depending on the location. Some of the locations might try to get fancy with it, which I love, I appreciate that. Of course, there's mint because it's a non-alcoholic mojito. So it's basically a soda with mint, right? I've never had Rick's version of a mojito before, and I'm hoping it's a good one. It's not good. It's made with club soda, so it's very flat. There's nothing sweet to it at all, which is not typical. If you want a good nojito, Boathouse. Boathouse right now is top of the list of, of non-alcoholic mojitos. This one, this isn't good. See, typically when a, a virgin mojito comes out, it's got some Sprite in it to be able to add some sweetness to it. This is um, flat as flat as can be. Our appetizer has arrived to the table. We ordered the fried green beans for $13. They are fried gold and brown. Obviously, they're green beans. <laughs> they also come with two sauces, a Cajun aioli and a sweet and sour dipping sauce. I love the presentation of things. We just have a fun presentation here, okay? Fried green bean, which I have never had a fried green bean before in my life, so I'm excited about this. I'm gonna try the sweet and sour dipping sauce first. Here we go. Okay, there's some heat being applied. <laughs> there's some heat. I don't know if the heat is from the green bean or the sauce. There is heat in the green bean. It's the batter of the green beans, which we didn't know about. It, it doesn't say that in the menu, which is fine. So if you are heat averse, please know. You may want to steer away. It's not, it's just a little bit of heat. It's nothing big and overpowering, really. It's not. So the sweet and sour or the Korean dipping sauce, good, good. I'm gonna try the Cajun aioli here. So you're having a little heat going on, a little spiciness with your green bean, and I, I'm sure there's some in the Cajun aioli because we're not calling it Cajun if it's not spicy. The Cajun aioli is really creamy, really nice, so it tends to kind of tamp down in the spiciness going on in the green bean, so I like that a lot. But overall, I just have heat. <laughs> I have some heat in my mouth that I really didn't know was going to be happening. You know, when I thought of fried green beans, I've heard about the panko cr and crusted long beans at Trader Sam's 
at the Disneyland Hotel. Like, I've heard about those in the past, so I thought, fried green beans, we gotta try them. Just know they're a little, they're a little spicy. My husband would like it stated that he is enjoying the green beans. I am too. I just want you to know there's some heat. I will eat the green beans. I like them. Jeremiah, our server in the meantime, has taken the mojito away, <laughs> the, the virgin mojito away, and he has brought back another version. So let's give it a sip. That's much better. More lime is going on. He's also had added lemonade to it. I don't, I don't like just fully lemonade based mojitos, but that's better than what originally came to the table. So I'll take it, I'll drink it, it's better. The entrees have arrived to the table. I got the Cuban sandwich. It's a pressed sandwich. It comes with mojo pork, smoked ham, bread and powder pickles, Swiss cheese, and mojo aioli. It is $17, and I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully it will be warm and toasty. I got it with a side of fries. You can get other sides as well, including onion rings, which my husband got with his. He got the Rick's Steak Sandwich, which is seared beef tenderloin served with red onion, chimichurri, roasted horseradish aioli, and arugula on a toasted basil focaccia roll. It is served again with fries or your choice of sides. We are going to dig in because we are hungry I'm gonna take my first bite of my Cuban sandwich. There's the Cuban sandwich. I've never had a Cuban sandwich before, but it just sounded good. It sounded good tonight. Who doesn't love Swiss cheese and bread and butter pickles? Come on. That's good. <laughs> that, is, that is absolutely delicious. If you're at all concerned about how spicy the mojo is, because I, I did ask about that just in case. It's, it's not at all. The smokiness of the mojo comes out. It's lovely. There's your pickles. Yay! If you're a pickle fan, they're in there. I've got to have another bite. A bite with the pickle. The perfect bite. That is so good. All the, just all the meat is layered beautifully. It is warm. It is toasty. And I love the flavors going on. Two thumbs way up. Let me try their fries here. Just looking at it, it's not a ton of fries. I mean, it's all right. I'm gonna try it. Okay. That's a thicker cut fry. That's a good fry. It's actually got a really good taste. I'm gonna try my husband's Rick's steak sandwich. Just look at the onion we got going on here. The arugula, cheese, melted cheese, the tenderloin. All right, here we go. Oh, and it's a soft roll. It's soft. So mine, obviously, with it being a pressed sandwich, is not soft. This is a very soft roll. Bottoms up. Holy crap. Friends, my sandwich is good, but we, <laughs> but we have another moment where I have envy about my husband's meal. <laughs> It is delicious. Complete envy over that thing. So the roll actually has cheese, like it's a cheesy roll. The tenderloin is so thinly shaved. Everything is marrying together beautifully. I am unhappy. I mean, I'm happy. I get. <laughs> I love my sandwich, but man, he chose well. Here's an onion ring. That is a great onion ring. We also kept the Cajun aioli, and Jeremiah brought us out an extra one to have <laughs> with our fries. We gotta dip our fries in our onion rings in that Cajun aioli, because that stuff is, you talk about smoky, that's just got a lovely smoky flavor to it. So, we're off to a good start. I'm gonna eat my, I'm gonna eat my Cuban sandwich. My first Cuban sandwich ever. Okay, I have found a spot just outside of Rick's. Rick's is literally right through those doors there. Let's talk. Let's talk about this meal and just recap, a quick recap of, of the meal that was enjoyed. It turns out that they have recently redone their menu in Rick's. They've added a few new things and it also turns out every single one of the options that we chose this evening, my hubby and I, all three, 
new menu items. We didn't plan it that way, but that's the way it worked out. Really tickled about it. Those fried green beans for the appetizer. Let's just begin there. So, so good. It's funny, as we were continuing to eat um, that appetizer, we were like, okay, so is it the batter or is it the dips? Yes, to both. There's a little bit, there might be a little bit of heat in that batter, not a ton, but it's, um, it was the sweet and sour, the Korean dipping sauce. That's where you've got your, that's where you've got your heat. And it's nice. It's not overpowering. And of course, that Cajun aioli, that Cajun aioli is more smoky than, than heat forward. And man, it was good. Like I said at the table, we asked for an extra. We got it. It was my husband's idea. He's smart like that. And it was just so good. Those fried green beans. I mean, you got to get your veggies. <laughs> Never mind the fact that they're deep fried, you know, we won't talk about that. We'll just talk about the veggies. They were really, really good and uh, 13 bucks. So I feel like I got my money's worth with that. My dish, the Cuban, also a new menu item, 17 bucks. I really enjoyed it. Listen, if you like a good pressed sandwich, if you've had a Cuban before at another restaurant, you know, then then this is going to be something that uh, might be right up your alley. I really liked it. That the mojo pork was was very thinly sliced. I don't really love like thickly sliced meat. I just don't. That's not my thing. Thinly sliced and stacked. A little bit of that smoked ham, the Swiss cheese, those bread and butter pickles, and that mojo aioli. Very good very good now as my sandwich sat there the bread of that bottom piece that I hadn't gotten to yet did get a little bit soggy so just a heads up about that if you know if you're taking too long on that sandwich it can get a little soggy other than that I really enjoyed it the fries were nice you know a little different than your typical fry they had a really nice uh, flavor to them, very soft on the inside, a little bit thicker than what we're used to here on Disney property. So that was a really nice change. And of course, if you get those fried green beans, dip your fries in that Cajun aioli. You'll be making good choices if you do so. Really, the winner winner of the entire dinner is my husband's sandwich. I feel like this should be a theme here. He is really good at picking his items. Bless him. He had the Rick's steak sandwich for $21. So good. That focaccia roll was so lovely and squishy. It had cheese baked into it. It had an aioli going on on it that was incredibly good. And I cannot tell you, like there was one little bit of, of the tenderloin, the shaved tenderloin that was left on my plate at the end of the meal. I savored it and it was just that rich beefy flavor that you want with a steak sandwich that's been cooked on a flat top surface like it was insanely good there are three items on the dessert menu there's a berry mascarpone cake there's a bourbon pecan pie both for $11 and there's also a sherbet. We opted just to go without dessert, but if dessert is your thing, know that it's gonna cost you about $11, a couple dollars less for the sherbet. The Virgin Mojito, the Nojito for Walt Disney World Nojito fans. It was okay. Would I get it again here at, at Rick's? Absolutely not, <laughs> I would not. A lemonade-based uh, Nojito isn't my favorite. It just isn't. I like I like a little bit more of an inventive one. The boathouse again. The boathouse reigns supreme on Walt Disney World property. Um, my son makes a mean nojito for me, <laughs> which is a lovely thing as well. If you're looking for a spot to watch games here at Disney's Coronado Springs, or maybe you know, you're visiting, you're able to take a ride share over. If you've got a big game, like I said, March Madness is going on right now. If you've got your favorite NFL team playing in the fall, like this Ricks is a great option. It is encircled with TVs. Like you literally can't sit at a seat in the restaurant and not be able to see a television set. They have all the games on. In fact, bless its heart, one of the TVs tonight, everything was basketball except for one, wrestling. I mean, if wrestling was your thing tonight, 
there was a TV for you. Thankfully, they had all the March Madness games on tonight, so no big deal. It does get loud in there. It's a sports bar, right? It's a sports bar masquerading as a table service, masquerading as a sports bar. It's got this dual personality thing going on, but it is loud in there. There, it, it has soaring ceilings, which make for the ability to have just beautiful lighting fixtures, but it also makes the noise just absolutely soar to that high ceiling. And there isn't a stitch of fabric in there, not very many stitches of fabric in there to help absorb all the noise from all the different tables. So just keep that in mind if you're heading to Rick's. Again, if you need table service breakfast here at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort, right now it's Rick's. Of course, the quick service at El Mercado del Coronado across the way. There is availability on the walk-up list from time to time. So if you're hungry and you go on the My Disney Experience app and you click today's date, you'll, you'll see that a, an option pops up for now or breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever, whatever, you know, it, time of day it is. So you can hit now and there are walk-up lists available at the different Disney restaurants. Rick's, you will see from time to time on there. Um, and it might be 10 minutes, you know, earlier this evening it was 10 minutes, later in the evening it was 50, and it was because a convention let out. Again, I'm just inside of the convention area here. This convention space is massive, massive. And so if you've got a convention letting out, everybody's gonna flood through those doors and to that restaurant, <laughs> or Three Bit and Bridges Bar and Grill, or if it's open, Toledo upstairs, like if, if it's past five and Toledo is open there as well. So be ye warned about that if you're here at uh, Coronado Springs. All in all, I really enjoyed my meal in Rick's. I said it earlier, like my first experience at Rick's was not great. It was a couple of years ago. I got a chicken Caesar salad and it really fell flat. It was not anything to write home about and was, uh, it just wasn't a lot of thought put into it. What I have to say about everything that I ate tonight, a whole lot of thought was put into each and every one of those dishes. So completely, Rick's is completely redeemed at this point for me. And if I come back, I will be trying that steak sandwich that my husband got tonight. And I know I will enjoy every single morsel. So those are my thoughts about Rick's. Rick's is redeemed. Again, there are other table service options here. Three Bridges Bar and Grill, which I adore. That burger, their signature burger with manchego cheese, amazingly good. Adore it. I adore it. But if you don't head out to Three Bridges Bar and Grill and you end up at, at Rick's, please <laughs> get that steak sandwich. And really, I enjoyed the Cuban too. Get the Cuban. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite table service restaurant at a Walt Disney World Resort. Like you're at the Contemporary, what's your favorite? Or you're, you know, you're, you're here at Disney's Coronado Springs. Let me know which restaurant is your very favorite if you're looking for something in the table service area of things. Because friends help friends find really good food here at Walt Disney World, okay? <laughs> Please help me out. Thank you so much for watching tonight. I just really appreciate that you've spent some time and gone to dinner with me this evening. It was lovely having dinner with you. If you want to, follow me on Instagram at Denny underscore Sunderly. That's D-E-N-I underscore S-U-N-D-E-R-L-Y. I'd love to hang out with you over there. Listen, keep an eye on my stories because I'm at Disney quite a bit. It's my happy place. So I like to share the magic in there. Also, if you haven't already, please consider giving this video a like. Please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are having a great day, whatever you've got going on. I hope that's got a little bit of magic in it. Thanks again. Take good care. <laughs> Bye.